It's been over a year since I looked at Volumio, the popular free music playing software for the Raspberry Pi. Version 1 was very elementary, version 1.5 already more grown up and now there's version 2. For Lumio, from the first day on, is basically a user interface for the MPD player, the music player daemon that is a rather standard music player in many Linux distros. But to have it perform well on the first gen Raspberry Pi, the Volumio team also undressed Linux to the minimum needed to run as smooth as possible. It is intended as headless, meaning it runs without a monitor, keyboard and mouse attached. Just install the Volumio software on the micro SD card of the Raspberry Pi 2B or 3B, mount a DAC or digital I.O. board to the Pi and plug it in. Apart from some flashing LEDs on the boards, nothing will happen. You use a browser on a computer, tablet or smartphone to operate for Lumio. Simple and again free. Now let's see how it works. You need a Raspberry 2B or 3B. It does run on a 1B but just barely. There are also versions for other small computers like the Odroids the Qbox i and even x86 and x64 computers that would normally run Windows. Make no mistake, there is no Windows version, but there is a version that runs on the same hardware as Windows. And to make it even more complex, you can use a computer running Windows to control Vol Volumio, since any HTML browser will do. But as said, we are going to use the Raspberry Pi since it's cheap and especially the Pi 3 is more than fast enough. You can use the audio output of the Pi that is combined with the composite video output on a special 3.5 mm jack. I wouldn't bother, both audio and video are of extremely sad quality. If you use an AV receiver that has an HDMI input, you can use the HDMI output of the Pi. In all other cases, you should really use a better sound card. I use the Hi-Fi Berry Digi Plus card that outputs SPDIF so I can use a quality DAC. I also use the Hi-Fi Berry DAC Plus in my set 3. You could also use a USB DAC connected to one of the USB outputs of the Pi, but using an SPDIF board gives a better result. You need a 4 GB or more micro SD card and you must download a so called image from volumio.org that is suited for the microcomputer you are going to use. In my case, that's the Raspberry Pi. If you use a Windows computer to copy the image to the SD card, you also need a free program Win32 Disk Imager. For the Mac, Volumio suggests Etcher, but since I'm used to Apple Pie Baker, I use that. It works exactly the same as Win32 Disk Imager. You first select the SD card you will copy the image to, then select the image and start the process. When it's done, you remove the micro SD card from your computer put it in the micro SD slot of the Raspberry Pi and connect the power supply to start up the Raspberry Pi. Now you go to your computer, tablet or smartphone and start a browser. Type volumio.local in the address bar and give an enter. That should bring you to this user interface. If not, you might have been too quick. Give the Pi a minute to boot and try again. If it still doesn't work, try to find out the IP address of the Pi, for instance by looking in the menus of your router or by using Thing on a smartphone or tablet. Thing is available for Android and iOS and you'll find it on Thing.io. See the link below this video in YouTube. When you have found the IP number, just type HTTP colon slash slash followed by the IP number of the Pi. This will learn your router where to look for volumio.local the next time. Let's first tell Volumio where to find the music. If you connect a hard disk directly to the Pi you can skip this. Click on the gear in the top right corner and select My Music. By clicking on the plus at Now Drive knob 
you can add a network drive. Normally this will be a SIFS drive, also called Samba, but Network File System NFS for short is also supported. If necessary you have to specify a username and password too. If all went well you will see the volume is checked below mounted. It will automatically be indexed. The next thing is to define the output. In the menu go to playback options. If you use a separate sound card you have to activate the I2S DAC option and select the sound card you use. If you use HDMI you can leave the I2S DAC option off and just select HDMI out. For now you can leave all other options as they are. The Volumio player should now work and when you connect it to your stereo you can enjoy the music. If you like you can fiddle with other settings. The only other setting that might be of importance to you is the Spotify plugin that can be installed on the plugins. But if you like you can change the looks, connect buttons to the GPIO bus to operate Volumio, add a touchscreen, connect to Wi-Fi if your Pi has Wi-Fi and you can even set a playlist to work as an alarm clock. A very good improvement on the first iteration is the update function. You now no longer have to copy and update to the SD card yourself but just let the Pi update the Volumio version on the SD card. There even are options for de deleting user data or to do a factory reset. Once the indexing of your music is ready, you are set to go. Click on the browse tab in the lower left corner to choose your music. Favorites and playlists need to be filled but all the other choices are available, including web radio and Spotify if you have installed the plugin. The middle tab shows the play screen but in the middle the album information, on the right the volume control that can be fixed to 100% if you like and on the left you see the specs of the audio file playing plus the progression, a heart to mark the track as favorite and a plus to add the track to a playlist and a menu to go to the artist, the album or tweet that you are playing this track. When set at 100% volume, the sound quality is determined by the hardware. About any audio format is supported including DSD over PCM, provided you DAC supports that too of course. When used with all tricks in the book like the linear power supply connected directly to the digital I.O. board, see the link in the top right corner, you can get impressive results given the price. If you go for a sound card with a DAC integrated like the Hi-Fi Berry DAC Plus, a Raspberry Pi 3B, an acrylic housing and an Audiophonics linear power supply, you are set under 180 euros if you shop around a bit. For my set 3 the DAC Plus version is sufficient, for my set 2 the Digi Plus sound card plus the Chord Mojo is a very good combo. To get things in perspective, replacing the Volumio setup with for instance the SOTM SMS200 or Micro Rendu does further improve the sound as does replacing the Audiophonics power supply by for instance the S Booster BOTW. And it's better, for only the S Booster power supply will set you back more than the Volum Volumio setup cost. And the SOTM and Micro Rendu are even more expensive. But we are talking refinement here. The Volumio setup, as I described, does sound agreeable even in my set 1. Spending more money does refine the sound. Volumio has grown enormously. We can discuss the user interface, but to be honest, it's not that much less than a user interface with the big names. And it offers opportunities for people that like to customize the setup. At a touch screen, play, pause and skip buttons or both, no problem. Build it together in a nice housing, have YouTube inspire you. But even people that are not too handy with computers might get away with this setup, provided they are persistent. You can even get sound cards with 2 times 25 watts so you only need a set of speakers. I can't say what sound quality that offers, but it's fun anyway. 
Remarkable is that this open source project has been developed with a consumer, as in non-nerd in mind. And as always, if there is a major update on a product I reviewed, I will update the review too. So if you want to stay informed, subscribe to this channel or follow me on Twitter, Facebook or Google+. If you have a question, please post it below this video, but don't ask me for buying advice. View my About Questions video to find out why. You will find more information below this video. If you like this video, please consider supporting the channel through Patreon and tell your friends on the web about it. I am Hans Beekhuizen, thank you for watching and see you in the next show or on the HBproject.com. And whatever you do, enjoy the music.